Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, five Syrahs in front of me. Actually, that's not quite true. Four Syrahs and one Syrah... Is it Syrah Grenache Carignan blend? Syrah Grenache Carignan. Um, but um, we, it's a Syrah vis, a video to all intents and purposes. Um, first one I've got... Actually, the first one I've got is the oldest. Uh, Steam Wharf Road 2008 Syrah from Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. Uh, but I'm doing it first because um, it's 12.5% and all the others are like 14, 14 and a half percent so uh, thought it might get a bit swamped if I did it uh, if I did it at the end cloves pepper vanilla uh, it's a very fragrant style uh, I'm not sure whether they're in gimlet gravels here whether on no it doesn't say whether they're on gimlet gravels um, and uh, but um, one of those I'm never quite sure with some Hawks Bay uh, Syrahs whether there is just perfume and whether there's enough weight of fruit behind it. So it'll be interesting to taste this, which is uh, uh, now four and a half years old. Uh, it smells good, but uh, maybe uh, if I have a problem with how it smells, maybe there's not going to be the fruit behind to uh, uh, to balance those so those really nice perfumed aromas. Yeah, some leather, some licorice, um, and uh, get a slight jamminess to the fruit. Uh, a bit of vanilla there, and uh, so and, and the strange thing is the perfume is there. Uh, and then there's this bit of vanilla, and uh, and the fruit the fruit looks okay. Uh, I'm just wondering whether I should have seen it uh, when it was that little bit younger. Uh, it's um, I like it, but um, I think I would have liked it better a year or two ago. But still okay. Uh, let's move to Chile with Doña Dominga, single vineyard Ernel El Rebaño. Big licorice berry, black currant. There's something slightly medicinal there. Um, uh, I get um, uh, the, there's a flavour I call the, the classic chilli reduced black currant parcels. There's a little bit of that character there, but it's more this ripe, earthy, licorice character of uh, a very ripe Shiraz uh, grown in a in a dry climate that, uh, that, that that's that, that's coming through. Well, the fruit's just bordering on the jammy there, uh, getting that slight baked character. Um, I don't mind it. Uh, I think it's just a little bit too loud for uh, my personal tastes. I know a lot of people will love it. Um, I miss a. I, I almost like want something halfway between between the two of those. I want something with the, with the fragrance of the first and um, the body and ripeness of the second. Maybe we'll find it in wine number three. Uh, which is Mitchelton uh, Shiraz 2010 from Central Victoria, um, situated on the pristine Goulburn River in the hearts of Central Victoria. Uh, I thought you could put Goulburn River on a... Uh, maybe maybe the, the, the vineyards aren't all from Goulburn River, uh, and it's just the vineyard, uh, just the winery that's uh, nestling on those particularly pretty, picturesque, or whatever they said, uh, riverbanks. Well, actually, this does smell like something halfway between the two. It's, it's got the, um, uh, the, the the peppery character, maybe not uh, quite as floral and aromatic as the Tim Pot Hut was, but then it's got some of the bounce and ripeness and juiciness, uh, but not the jamminess that was in, in the Doña Dominga. It smells like it's going to be uh, rich and uh, hearty, but still with this uh, peppery freshness to, um, yeah, to keep it lively. Not the most complex of wines, but rich, juicy, satisfying, and as I, I was expecting, it's got the, the body, it's got the broadness, uh, but then it's got a slim waist. Uh, so broad shoulders, slim waist, rather than the other way around. Um, maybe I, yeah, maybe I, I want a few more layers of complexity in there, but um, as, a, as a good, honest, uh, rich, but still slightly refreshing Shiraz, I think it does its job pretty well. Okay, wine number four, uh, the Bernard series, or Bernard, Bernard series, Basket Press, uh, Syrah 2010, uh, from the Bellingham Winery, and uh, coastal origin here. Uh, Bernard Pod La Chuck is recognised for his daring vision, sheer audacity, and unabated drive that helped place South African wine on the map. The legend of his tenacity and innovative flair, blah, 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 Bernard series. Give it a whirl. Rounded, rich, chocolatey. Uh, there's a little bit of volatility there that's just giving the, aroma, the aromas a little bit of a lift, but not so much that it's turning vinegary. Um, and uh, maybe it hasn't got the fragrance and aromatic, um, um, th th those floral and spicy ends, uh, yeah, floral peppery ends uh, that uh, the uh, Tim Pot and the Mitchelton did. But there is um, there's a juicy earthiness about it that, um, that feels rich and honest and uh, gluggable. That chocolatey character from oak, I mean, it's quite appealing, it's quite seductive and uh, gives it a svelte 
character. Uh, maybe when you come to taste it, is is that little, just that little bit on the on the overripe side. I'm not sure whether they put Viognier in here, but um, there's something almost sweet and peachy that comes through uh, on the finish. Um, I like it, uh, and uh, I, I think that um, it's it's really well made. It's probably my favourite so far, um, but. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering when they plonked a little bit of Viognier there. Maybe I miss a little bit of the aromatic and spicy bits of uh, uh, of numbers one and three. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not a winemaker, but I'd be almost tempted to shove something like some Carignan in there rather than some Viognier. I find that Viognier uh, in with something ripe sometimes it's what I call the cream and custard treatment, um, and it's almost a bit too much of a good thing. If you've got something rounded and fleshy, why add something more round and fleshy? Why not add something a bit a bit more spiky? But um, I do like the wine. Let's see whether I like wine number five, which is the um, uh, the French one, uh, uh, and it's Chateau de de Cré Ricard um, in the Terrasse du Larzac uh, enclave of the uh, Languedoc in southern France. And this particular cuvee is called Stacia, not Stacy, um, S T E acute C I A, and um, blend as I say, Syrah, Grenache, and Carignan. Um, and if you've had the wines from uh, uh, things like Arrogant Frog or the uh, Paul Mass Estate. It's from the, uh, this is uh, Jean-Claude Mass's, I think he manages this estate or owns it, but, uh, uh, and I've had some of the wines before, but I've never had this particular cuvee. Let's give it a try. Earthy pepper, tar, uh, coal, ash. Um, there's a brightness and richness about it. There's raspberries. Um, it, it's this, this mix of almost like dark blackberries and, uh, and, and ripe, fragrant raspberries. There's, um, there's a real sense of, uh, of earthy terroir herbiness coming through here. And uh, it's, um, I think it's, it's the highest alcohol so far, 14.5%. But um, it smells aromatically as interesting as any of them so far. I love those earthy, gritty tannins, and uh, I know some people will dislike it for exactly that reason. Um, it has got this chewiness, and it has got this uh, almost as if. Um, do you remember? I, I can't remember. I remember our chemistry teacher forcing us to eat a charcoal biscuit, and uh, I have no idea why. We weren't pregnant, isn't that what you give pregnant women charcoal biscuits? But it's got that character of um, of chewing charcoal. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? But then it's got this lovely fruit. It's got the herbs and. Um, it feels, in terms of uh, weight of fruit, it's maybe not the, it's certainly not the fruitiest so far, far, but it's got more life beyond fruit. I mean, if you just want fruity wine, just have fruit juice and uh, shove a bit of vodka in it. But um, here, there, there are for me extra layers that make it uh, probably the most interesting of, of, of this lot. Uh, I've liked, I've liked a lot of them, um, but um, yeah, this for me is, is the uh, is the one that I want to um, go out and stew a boar for. In the absence of boars in the Saddleworth region, apart from me, um, I think I'll just go and have some, find some decent sausages, uh, shove them on the barbecue, and uh, guzzle a bit of that tonight. So, see you soon.